Hello, my name is Mordred Viking, and I'd like to welcome you to episode 55 of this Let's Play Europa Universalis 4. The Smashing of France. I mean, sorry, it's, it's the army of, with a state. Uh, Prussia, which is currently smashing France. In the last episode, obviously, we smashed France. I, I, I cannot stress just how much we are smashing France, because we are really, really smashing France. <laughs> um, we are currently allied with Castile. We basically wanted Castile because of their naval superiority. Although the uh, Hunter do, of course, have their own shipping as well. So we are beating them at sea, and I personally am thrashing them on land. Uh, France did manage to occupy a few of the Castellan provinces, but since losing a whole bunch of battles against us, the French have been very much on the back foot. Yes. So we are basically just trying to occupy stuff currently in preparation for advancing. We are also at war with the Papal States, who I might well try and go after just for the money. In fact, that's probably a good idea. Maybe we'll try and smash down the French armies and then go after the Papal State. Not a bad plan. In fact, you may as well start doing that right now. Cool. And it is just you two that we're fighting, right? Pretty sure. Yep. You may as well head towards Siena. Cahors is going to fall soon enough, and then we can use them to attack their main army. The Palatinate is joining us there. We have the Hunter taking over Brittany for us, which is very nice of them. Thank you very much. How many troops does the Hunter actually field these days? 36,000. Even the Palatinate is 15. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Demands for representation. A number of hostile publications have begun to circulate in the cities of Prussia. Anonymous, yet very critical authors, claim that our government is autocratic and demand both a written constitution and a parliament where various parts of our country can be represented. Uh, ban them. We're an authoritarian state. What do you expect me to do? I'm actually sieging that already. You are. In that case, we'll just start taking over some of these areas, like Florence. We have one cohorts. Let's go and attack. These two are marching to try and assist, but they're not going to get there in time. And you've in fact been locked in. Marvellous. Oh, the French have in fact jumped in over there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the bigger army of you. I'm going to force march you over here. It'd be nice if you went and helped me over here, Castile. Thanks. Alright, Palatinate's on the way, Castile's on the way. Brilliant. Thank you. Much better. Right, we don't need to do that anymore, so we may as well just take Languedoc. Oh, blimey, how big a castle is that? Armanac has fallen, and then it's just going to be Bern left. May as well start on that. We'll take the little places first. Because, yeah, these guys are going to be trying to claim that area. Which is fine. I mean, we'll probably give them, like, Navarra, Pyrenees, Urgell, Barcelona, Pioja, back. Pioja, probably. Rio, Rioja. J's are usually H's. Something like that. My knowledge of Spanish isn't that great. The Ottomans have accepted peace with Poland. White peace? Really? The Poles got a white peace with the Ottomans. I thought they were getting spanked. Huh, interesting. Well done. Why am I... Oh, I've already taken it. Huh. It's just the colour is so light you can hardly tell. You're locked in. Let's go and assist. Bye. You're probably regretting attacking now. Go 
Come on, take it. Damn it. Romanaga's hours. Right, Siena is no longer under siege, so Morocco must have backed off. Yes, they have. All the seeds do we even have running? Quite a few, but there's none, no other ones that I really want at the moment. What do the espionage ones give us? Agricultural revolution, that is always a nice event. Where is this? Nets. Nets, nets, nets. Where is nets? Nets is definitely all about the manpower, although it's currently owned by the clergy, which is a mistake. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to invest in an even bigger army. We're going to kick the clergy out of here and switch it for nobility. Because it's such a high manpower location. And yes, the clergy is going to be yearning for something else. So we're going to sort by trade goods and we're just going to go through all of the kind of low value areas. Although, no, actually, clergy does pretty well with high value, especially high tax. So, Königsberg. No, there's more nobility. Ermland, they wouldn't be too bad. Ah, here we go. Stralsund. Oh, it's Hansa. Never mind. Uh, you won't be too bad in Lauenburg. Clergy. Plus 20% local tax. Removes autonomy for local tax modifier. It doesn't do anything with production, so no, we just want pure tax. Areas. Mites? No. Well, Mites is already clergy. Wittenberg? Are those even my areas? No. What about these two? No, that's all metal. Battle metal. Do -do 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 -do. Um, Neumark? No, that's definitely not. Tuchel. There we go. Perfect. Clergy. There we are. Problem solved. <clears throat> Renew war taxes. Um, yes, because we are spending a shite load. Our, cost, our coast has been raided. Morocco. Morocco? Oh, you're raiding the areas of France that I currently control. All right, then. Oh, it's Avignon that's stopping us. I was wondering, why can't I get to Nice? It's because I can't leave Drowning. Drownen. Drownen? Drownen? I don't even try how you pronounce that. Draguinen. 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 Draguinen? Any French viewers, let me know how you actually pronounce that. Uh, military access from Denmark. Who are you fighting? And is it in my interest to allow you to get through? You're currently fighting Sweden and Great Britain. Um, yes, I will let you get through there. We've taken Provence. All right, so Armanac must have must have been ours initially and then fell. So what kind of war score do I need with you? Whoops. For all of your monies. Whoops. And war reps. 34. And that would be a lot of money, which I would very much appreciate. Why am I paying out so much? 
reinforcements? No, not really. It's just my army is expensive. Peasants in Vermandois. Never. Bad. Bad peasants. Can I even get out? Nope. These two armies are actually just stuck there. Damn it. They're taking territory back that I'd already taken. How could you? need to keep an eye on this army because I'm a little bit concerned about the larger French army. Oh, because Jill actually went after the big army over there. Interesting. Hold on. Zero. Fourteen. Minus fourteen. Oh, hello. We rock. We're already at max prestige. And they attacked me in Bern and were stack wiped. That was probably a mistake. I'm just, just going to suggest that might have been a mistake. Triumph of the clergy. While none would openly defy the clergy, there are a few states where there is an influential, as in Prussia. There isn't a single institution in our country that isn't entirely under the influence of the clergy, and the power of our emperor depends on them now more than ever. Is that true? Yeah, they are pretty influential. It is perhaps only natural that the clergy now also wishes to take on a more active role in practical ruling of our country. Lately, a number of suggestions have been made by the representatives to further harmonise our laws and traditions with those of the spiritual realm. The ambition is to cleanse our court culture from any unorthodoxy and ensure that the country is governed according to religiously sound rules and ideals. They gain 10 influence, which would be super, super bad. Or we lose a stability and they lose... Yeah, I'll take the stab hit, thanks. Okay, Bern has finally fallen. I think we'll go and sit in Navarra. Actually, no, no, we'll go to Bordeaux. The French want this stuff. Well, the Spanish want that stuff, they can go and get it. It's really the Pope I want to take out, though. The fact that these sieges are taking so long is kind of annoying. Alright, yeah, Urbino has finally been won. Good. Times of need. The dynasty of our noble emperor, von Hohenzollern, is certainly a powerful one. Although Ludwig Karl II, they, through Ludwig Karl II, they rule our nation will do so for many years to come. However, even the great are sometimes in need of help. Thankfully, the von Hohenzollern family has strong bonds to other great powers, such as the von Habsburg, led by none other than Maximilian I, Prince Elector of Tyrol. His gracious wife, Marguerite, is a daughter of our own royal house and an invaluable contact. Perhaps we shall ask her if she can influence her husband to lend us a hand. Um, <clears throat> I mean, what am I most short on? Diplo. No, uh, admin points, probably. Give me a hand managing the uh, the massive administration. Ah, oh, bollocks. I was hoping I wouldn't need to take loans. Oh well. Let's go and siege stuff. In fact, will the Pope peace out at this point? No. Okay. Take Rome. Okay, there's Siena. Now they probably should. Right? Yeah, they will. Thank you. And then France. For all of the money. All of the Imperial Ban territories, because that's all I can actually take from them. But I will be taking them all. Uh, that's not one of them. Um, release nations. Release Genoa. No, they won't accept. Oh, you're demanding me to take Corsica. Screw that. And also, I would like you to return Barcelona to Castile and Rioja to Castile. Uh with everything else that you do. Oh yeah, I was going to humiliate you. And war reps. Beautiful! And so, France was utterly humiliated. France will cede Hainaut, Barra, Franche Comte, Cambrai, and Sungau to Prussia. France will give cause of Barcelona and Rioja to Castile. 
France will be forced to give Prussia 10% of their income each month to pay for war reparations and will last for 10 years. France will be humiliated. France will pay 793 ducats to me and my allies, of which I get 566. Excellent. And France was very much humbled. Right, send the armies home. And start thinking about who to go after next, because I'm not done yet. Poland? Probably Poland. We always have a friend, Tyrol. Plus 25 admin and relations have improved. <laughs> Everyone leaves the coalition. I don't really blame you. Make all of you lot cause, because, you know, free land. <laughs> Literally everyone's just like, bail! Bail! Get out! Quick! Ah! <laughs> we don't want to fight Prussia. We really don't want to fight Prussia. Alright, so I'm going to repay that loan. Chink. I'm going to reduce my army maintenance quite considerably. And... We may as well take the diplo idea for another diplomat, though I very rarely actually use them. More provincial trade power and foreign spy detection. Sure. While the ideas are so cheap, we may as well do so. Marvellous. Okay, cool. Oh, and of course you guys are stuck in the little tiny bit of land that I have over here. Although Alsace is the only province actually stopping me. You're not going to let me through. That is probably a mistake on your part, Alsace. Oh yeah, and I was going to get rid of you five, because I think you were when I annexed someone. Laubberg, maybe? Uh, still a 0% chance for another three years. An army with a state. Aha! Ha ha ha! Ha ha! Yes, that's why I called it this. While various ways to increase the standing army the country would, could support have been undertaken in the past, they have not been sufficient to our needs. Now that our bureaucracy has advanced enough to support a more rigorous system, Ludwig Karl II has drawn up a plan to reshape the old provincial militias and mercenaries entirely. The country will be divided into cantons, and each residing male will be expected to enrol in the army. Civilian involvement should remain limited. Instead, Ludwig Karl II intends for the military administrators of each regiment to be responsible for recruitment within a canton. Prussia is an army with a state, not a state with an army. So even if there was an amazing alternative, that's still the option we would kind of have to take. That is a pretty nice alternative. We cannot let the military dictate the needs of the state. No, no, no. Gain 40 militarization, gain 23,000 manpower, lose one stability. Okay, it's not actually as good as it could have been. Like, if it was plus manpower limit, that would have been even better. It's a one-off. Loses some stability, too. Unlawful territory. We can amount the Trier returns territory. What is Trier very naughty? Naughty, naughty, naughty. What have you taken? Um, not sure. Territory of some kind. And how is the empire looking? 6 4, 22 against. So, if at this point I took some time to restore some of my relations with the HRE, I could probably actually start passing some reforms, but that is somewhat unlikely in the next hundred years. So, I'm not going to bother. Um. And in fact, oh, I could remove your electorate, really. Cost me 10 imperial authority. How does one disband the HRE? Oh, you can't do it if you're the emperor. Which I would remain, thanks to the Platinum and Tyrol. Absolutely worshipping the ground on which I walk. We're down to 28 princes. We're still gaining imperial authority. That's right. <laughs> Um, I still kind of want Bohemia to keep growing. We could actually gobble up quite a lot of Trier, because I think they're probably our cultural... Yeah, they are. 
is all ass. Yep, just. Britain's rivaled me. Milan's rival Bohemia. Gain army tradition, lose navy tradition, or lose just a bit of navy uh, army. Navy. I mean, it's not like I need navy tradition. It's not like I need army tradition either. Right now. Um, do I want to just save money? Or do I want to invest it in awesomeness? Oh, we could get another stack. You know what? We'll get another stack. Can't go wrong with that. When in doubt, build more troops. Marvellous. Oh, and we were also going to get a navy, weren't we? When we got the next naval idea, which we have already done. So, navy time. Three deckers. It's the height of naval power. And yes, our vassals can build them too. So maybe I shouldn't build them in their lands. I'll do that. Bavaria has left the coalition. Oh, I had far too much fun smashing France around like that. Far too much fun. In fact, I don't even need a claim on Alsace. I, I already have one. It's called nationalism. Who are you allied with? Munster and Wittenberg. I kind of like to go after Trier just because you're big. Magdeburg's another. Oh, you're already a vassal. Can I start annexing you yet? I've totally forgotten that Magdeburg was a vassal. Uh, that would be in here. Yes, is the short answer I could. So let's raise relations with you very slightly. Before we go to war again, we'll make sure that happens. We only need 10 more relations. Oh, and we're at our military limit. We could spend a ridiculous amount of money for the next level of mill tech. Don't think it's really worthwhile. Do we have an institution? What should we do? Yeah, we do. Um, I'm just surprised that I can store a thousand. It used to be 999. But, hmm. So we want to spend some development wherever it's cheap, basically. That'll do for the time being. We gain 2,000 men a month. We have a maximum manpower of 2,000. 202,000. How much is this going up a month? Wait another two months, I think. And then after that, we need to decide who we're going to declare war on because I'm going to use the co-belligerents to bring in more people into the war and then take just loads of stuff in one fell sweep. I do have sufficient manpower and I have rather a lot of troops. And we are still suffering attrition down here. Let's move some of you to Songao so we're not taking that attrition. Magdeburg insulting us. Thankfully that hasn't actually hurt the amount of relations that they have towards us. Which means I can now start annexing them as a vassal. Boom. Stop raising relations. Right. Let's raise army maintenance. This is basically going to mean that I'm going to have to take loans. So be it. In fact, I'm just going to do that because I'm paying off corruption quite quickly. Right, so. 
Trier is one now. No, it's all Zas that I really need to take. All Lorraine. Hansbach, Nassau, and Haun, Haynut. Nassau, Haynut. I think Alsace, oh, you're only allied to Munster, which is that tiny little two province. Uh, Ansbach is already allied with us. Wittenberg is allied with Nuremberg and Bohemia. Trier, Switzerland, Nuremberg, and Venice. I think it's going to have to be Alsace. Except this will draw in the whole coalition of nothing. Screw it, let's go. So what am I fighting? Oh, I forgot to co belligerize. Oh well, we'll just take Alsace in this one then. Is it literally you? Did your ally bail on you? Yep, they did. <laughs> it sucks to be you. Yeah, Munster was like, nope. How about nope? No, I don't think I need them. Thank you. And there we go, victory is ours. Well, that was the world's easiest victory ever in the history of ever. Thank you. Right, so now we have actually got access through to our frontier territories over there. We don't actually have them to this area. So that is probably the next thing that we need to do is Hainaut and Liège. Salzburg and Trier. Burgundy and Lorraine. Hainaut actually likes us. That's probably a mistake. Aachen. Or we could just take a bunch of the Netherlands. You have terrible allies. Yeah, that is all nationalist. Ah, oh, it's just because you have such wimpy allies, Netherlands. Jeez. Alright, let's stick. Stack over here. Stack over here. And then you four. One, two, three, four. And because I'm the Emperor, I think that just means I can cross over Germany regardless. Alright, we ready? We're ready. Let's go. Or we could go for Trier first. Screw it. Let's take the Netherlands while they're so bloody weak. And the objective here is going to be taking Limburg. Go. Yes, we can indeed cross over. Friesland. Utrecht. No, can't get there. Can't get there. See where the Dutch armies are, if anywhere. Oh yeah, I should need. I should go after Livonia at some point. Can we take Brabant? No. I have to say Limburg first, which is fine. In fact, I might even just double up so we get double the cannons going. The hunters dominating them at sea. Yeah, the Netherlands are just really weak in this game. Really, really weak. Cool. We have general in both locations. Excellent. You have an army of 46,000. That's not going to save you. Come on. Let's take these places. All right. Their army's moving. I think I'm going to trace you with these guys, though. Honestly, I'm not going to need to fight you. I mean, I'm not going to need to reinforce against you, because your armies are going to be terrible compared to mine. 7%. Come on, let's go. Let's go, 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 go. Ooh, another idea. Yes, I think I will. 
minus 10 liberty desire and subjects not really an issue interesting that might be a good one for my Norway game though oh we lost a general quick get another general while well, we have loads of military power he's a bit rubbish so is he so is he he's good uh, is he? Yeah, he's pretty good. He's not bad, but he's not as good. Right, so who is currently in friendly territory that can have a general? No one. Come on, come on, come on! I haven't got all day. You have no leader. No, you do. Congratulations. In fact, all three of you. Let's go and fight the Dutch army. with 80,000 men. Right, so the Dutch have 5.3 morale, I have 6.7, I have 3.8 tactics to their 3.1. Do I have any militarism at all? Yes, a little bit. It's going down pretty quickly though. 128% discipline to their 105, and the Dutch army is usually pretty good. They have no bonuses to them, no bonuses to artillery, no bonuses to cavalry. I have got plus 10% cavalry bonus, plus 50% infantry bonus, which is just sickening, and plus 20% artillery bonus. So we should win this one really quite easily. Going by these numbers, we will. Is that quite? Not quite. Inspirational leader, plus 10% morale recovery. Nice. Oh, we caught them. That's going to be a stack wipe. He got all of those and that was indeed a stack wipe. Lovely. Uh, let's go to Utrecht actually, start sieging that. And with that, I think I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. That is the end of this one. So, if you are enjoying this series, then please do hit that like button. If you haven't done so already, then please do consider subscribing. If you have any tips or advice for me, let me know in the comments. Thanks again for watching. I'll catch you next time. Goodbye.